Hey Lightweights, and welcome back to some more Mass Effect 3. Alright guys, so obviously um, I wasn't able to listen to Javik last video because I had <laughs> storage issues on my computer. Um, and I want to know what he was going to say, so a bunch of you said that I wasn't going to be able to hear it since I missed it. So I found a video online from 12 years ago that is the conversation with him. So I'm going to start off by watching that and reacting to that, uh, and then we will get into the actual playthrough for today. Once I get comfortable, sorry. <laughs> Uh, so obviously this is not my shepherd. This is not my playthrough. This video is from VGS and I fast forwarded the cutscene part. So it's just like the actual, excuse me, <laughs> investigate part. Um, so without further ado, here we go. We've never seen a species with this sensory ability you have. It was common among my people, imparting experience through touch, the chemistry of life. Complicated ideas could be absorbed in seconds. That sounds very useful. We evolved as hunters. Reading a thousand details in our environment ensured our survival. So could you read something about this room? There was liquid. A form of incubation. The DNA of a Krogan who lived here. It was powerful, prone to violence. I'm impressed. His name was Grunt. And if he were my enemy, I would have given him a wide berth. There is great strength in his genes. Liara here would never forgive me if I didn't ask you. What was Prothean civilization like? Yes, I've always wondered. What sort of government did you have, and can you tell me about your religious beliefs, or perhaps the... We are dead now. What does it matter? I'm sorry. Studying your history has been a lifelong passion of mine. When I was born, our empire was already at war with the Reapers. The first thing I remember was seeing my planet on fire. What was your civilization like before the Reaper attack? We were the dominant race of our cycle. We ruled the galaxy. My studies indicated you were the only race engaged in space travel at the time. I always found that curious. We were one empire composed of many subjects. All eventually called themselves Prothean. What if they didn't want to? They weren't given a choice. Oh, okay. Are you saying you enslaved the other species? Any could oppose us if they wished. And if they had won, they would have ruled. Many tried. None succeeded. I had no idea Protheans were so... severe. It was by necessity. Very early we encountered the dangers posed by machine intelligence. They rebelled against us. We've had the same problem. They're called Geth. We could not allow the machines to surpass us. It was decided the only way to win was to unite all organic life within our empire. Did it work? For a time. The Metacon War. We were turning the tide. Until the Reapers arrived. Then we understood machines had surpassed us long ago, in ways we could never imagine. Back on Eden Prime, it looked like there were other stasis pods. What happened? The Empire had fallen, and we knew our cycle was lost. We were the final vanguard, the best soldiers left alive. So more of you were supposed to survive into this cycle? Yes. Under my leadership, a new Prothean Empire would have arisen. We would have commanded the races of your time to prepare for the next Reaper invasion. But traitors within our ranks, indoctrinated agents, betrayed us, and the Reapers discovered our plan. Just out of curiosity, how would you have commanded us? By leaving you no other option. You would have joined our army, or faced the Reapers alone. Mm. We've uncovered quite a few Prothean ruins. Were you observing our ancestors? Before the war, we cultivated species who showed potential. Eventually, you would have been offered a choice to join the Empire. But when the Reapers choice. attacked, we ceased all study. We hoped they would see you as too primitive to harvest. Well, thank you. I think. <laughs> 
Is there anything more you can tell us about this device your people were trying to build? We heard only stories. They said our scientists were constructing a great machine that had the power to defeat the Reapers. You never saw it? By that point, the Empire was smashed into pieces. None of us knew what the others were doing. Well, if we don't finish it soon, the same will be true of us. What can you tell us about your own war with the Reapers? Many of the details were lost. The conflict lasted for centuries. Those that faced the Reapers in the beginning were long dead when I was born. There were memory shards, however, passed down from soldier to soldier. They gave us fragments of what happened. Several years ago, we found a Prothean VI that called itself Vigil on the planet Ilos. He was the caretaker of a research project. During my life, Ilos was only a rumor. It was said we had cities there, built on the ruins of a civilization before us, the Inusanon. If our scientists did have a research facility, whatever they were doing was secret. Not secret yes. enough. Yes, Vigil said they wiped all traces of themselves from the records so the Reapers couldn't find them. The scientists eventually went into cryogenic stasis. More of my people survived? No, but they did stop the Reapers from taking control of the Citadel in this cycle. It delayed their invasion. I never saw the Citadel. It was captured long before I was born. How did your people wage war against the Reapers? Attrition. We fought them system by system, planet by planet, city by city. Entire worlds were sacrificed just to slow the Reapers down. Time they spent harvesting a population was time we could regroup. That must have cost you in the long run. Yes. Our own people would be indoctrinated, converted, then turned against us. But there was no choice. Mercy is not a weapon. It is a weakness. Why do you think your own cycle lost the war? What had been our strength, our empire, became a liability. All races conformed to one doctrine, one strategy. The Reapers exploited this. Once they found our weaknesses, we could not adapt. The subservient races became divided and confused. Then, it was only a matter of time. I'm happy to say our cycle is different. Most races cooperate, but they still remain unique. Then it may be your only hope. Thank you for talking with me. I never imagined actually meeting a Prothean. This has been amusing. Amusing! Oh. To discover the most primitive races of my time now rule the galaxy. The Asari, the humans, the Turians. There's also the Salarians. The lizard people evolved? I believe they're amphibian. Okay, so we did see this part. They used to eat flies. <laughs> She's so offended. Commander, you may count on me. Okay. I am no... Okay. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. So a Prothean, a real live Prothean, has Liara stopped bouncing yet? <laughs> I'm guessing there may have been some bouncing. Commander. ANN Alert, new article on Eden Prime. From the Alliance News Network Information Partners. Alliance officials confirm a local resistance movement has successfully pushed Cerberus forces off Eden Prime. Cerberus attacked Eden Prime for reasons that remain unclear and set up facilities to occupy the colony. But after a constant attack from a united populace, Cerberus troops retreated. Alliance officials are sending in evacuation transports now to get colonists off-world before Reaper forces reach the colony. We owe this victory to the Alliance, Resistance leader Edward Crabb said in prepared statement. The people of Eden Prime have always been ready to fight, but Alliance intel gave us the tools we needed to push those Cerberus bastards off our planet. Many resistance fighters have said they plan to enlist to support the Alliance. Hell yes! That's right, we did that. Those poor colonists on Eden Prime. First the Geth attack, now Cerberus. For what it's worth, our new crew member doesn't need a translator himself, but he shared a Prothean language tutorial program. It was apparently designed for servant races being inducted into the Empire. <laughs> Charming cultural clue. Commander? That's still kind of cool. Assets here. Let's just see how we're, go how we're doing. Let's see how we're going. Okay. 
we are at 770. Oh, Eden Prime support. I see. Eden Prime is an agrarian world producing millions of tons of food that is sold to less arable planets. The Alliance has set up supply lines from this colony to funnel excess provisions to its troops. Updated. A few researchers who studied Prothean technology on Eden Prime avoided capture by Cerberus. They forwarded copies of their work to the Alliance, hoping it could help build the Prothean device found on Mars. Heck yeah! Updated! Although its military defenses were seriously damaged by the Cerberus invasion, Eden Prime's remaining government has loaned the Alliance several Athabasca-class supply freighters. And updated again, Eden Prime's colonists drove Cerberus away from their system entirely. With its shipping lanes secure, the colony is sending out as many supplies and equipment as it can spare. Heck yes. Um, okay, I think we already had those. Data liberated from a Cerberus research lab includes reports on the composition and strengths of various Reaper units. Alliance scientists are fact-checking the information, but it appears to be genuine, so Alliance military VIs can use it to strategize against the Reaper's ground forces. Cool beans. You guys said I can check for any missing war assets in the Citadel, so I will do that when I go back. The private messages terminal has new correspondence. Hello again, Shepard. How much do you know about this Prothean artifact? Very little. We're fortunate enough data survived to piece together the blueprints. Decoding them will require as many specialists as we can find. It's that high tech? I'd have killed for a glimpse of it during graduate school. I don't think we did this. So is that drone your new secretary? Although Glyph I is a VI shell that indexes my although I'm lucky Edie let Glyph on board after it tried to rewrite her scheduled tasks. I was okay, merely attempting to standardize the ship's automated systems to our own, Dr. Tassoni. Yes, that's precisely why you're confined to the cabin. That doesn't sound familiar. What's been happening with you is the broker, Liara? It's been exciting. The old broker's ship. Impressive, but it was never meant to be space-worthy. Which meant the elusive man eventually tracked me down on Hagalaz. What happened? I knew he was coming. Ferran and I loaded as much of the ship's specialized hardware onto a shuttle as we could. We got away from Cerberus' ships after arranging an appropriate distraction. What kind of distraction? Sending the broker ship exploding into a Cerberus cruiser. <laughs> I don't think the elusive man expected me to give up my resources in such a spectacular fashion. Can you still operate as the broker without the ship? Well, I couldn't let the elusive man have it. I saved what was crucial. My network of agents is intact, although the Reapers have taken a toll on their numbers. It's taking a while to re-establish contact. So where is Ferron if you two escaped? He convinced me he was recovered enough to work, and I do need more agents. Agent Farron didn't report any injuries during his last call to your doctor. True. Given what he survived, I should probably worry less. What have you been up to since we last saw each other? Since you helped me defeat the Shadow Broker, I started looking for defenses against the Reapers. The Protheans were the only ones with substantial information on them. The older civilizations barely had records. I knew the elusive man was hunting for the same thing when our agents began crossing paths. Like on Mars. I thought I'd covered my tracks, but he had surveillance there all along. Mm-hmm. We'll talk later, Liara. Of course. All right. This terminal contains non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. Dr. Tassoni has granted you access. Okay. Prothean notes. Glyph, remind me to clean up these old notes. Perhaps reviewing them will lead to something useful for the Prothean device. 2171. The University of Saris agreed to sponsor me at the Prothean dig on Dretorop. Very exciting. Professor Hanel is leading the expedition herself. Maybe I can even ask her for her opinion on my thesis outline. Attachment thesis on Prothe Prothean first contact protocols. 2174. I believe Dr. Josh... Jashan was right to suggest that the Prothean artifacts we unearthed are from the Third Age, not the Fourth. What an embarrassing mistake. 
At least he seemed to approve of the rest of the paper. Attachment paper on a comparison of Prothean technology to modern Asari circuit logic. 2183 part 1. I'm going to the Therum expedition. I never thought I'd gain permission to visit the Prothean ruins there, but the University of Ceres must have secured the funding after all. Now to pack. Attachment paper on the end of the Prothean Empire. 2183 part 2. Goddess, this human shepherd has the key to comprehending the Protheans on an instinctual, subconscious level. If only I could have been there when the commander touched the beacon on Eden Prime. I'll try to learn more about the cipher on board the Normandy. The involvement of the Reapers is troubling, to say the least. Attachment. Paper on the end of the Prothean Empire with correction notes. 2185. I reviewed the old Shadow Broker's footage of the Collectors. It's chilling to know that they're the Protheans' husks. At least nothing sentient could possibly remain after what the Reapers did to them. Attachment paper on Prothean biology. Prothean notes, 2186, entry 1. The things this Prothean must have seen. If they had the technology to preserve someone for over 50,000 years, no wonder they were capable of building things like the device on Mars. I must give him time to get his bearings, but goddess, when we all, when will we get another chance to learn so much about their civilization? Attached notes on Prothean. Message from Operative Pharaon to the broker. I made contact with Tazik yesterday. The look on his face was priceless. He's not happy you put me in charge of scouting the Terminus systems, but he's doing a good job of keeping us alive. I've never seen so many pirates and mercs on edge. The black market's unreliable, and it's getting harder to make contact with suppliers. The Alliance won't be able to rely on it as a source of crucible materials for long if things get worse. Some of the other operatives think we should cut our losses now, but I just keep asking them, when did the odds ever stop the broker? Farron. P.S. I hope we finally got our little friend Droney to stop saying shadow and broker out loud in the same sentence to anyone in sight. So I have a canker sore right on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> and it makes it really painful to talk. And that was particularly difficult. Also, it randomly gives me a lisp sometimes because obviously that part of my tongue does not want to touch my teeth. So I apologize if I randomly bust out in a lisp. It is my swollen tongue. <laughs> I'm sorry to trouble you again so soon, but surely you must know something about the device. Anything would help. It was supposed to be our miracle, but we were fragmented by that point. Communication had been severed. I put no faith in it. All we could trust were the weapons in our hands. And you really know nothing about the Catalyst? I already told you, Asari. No. I'm sorry. It's just so much depends on this. I know that. More than you do. Now, please, let me be. I am still recovering. Of course. I apologize. Well, now I'm gonna bother him. You have more questions, Commander? Um... So, this is what I just watched the video on, but I can do it. So, I guess I should have checked that first. But apparently you can get this. Again, just so you guys know. Nothing more. <laughs> Commander. Okay. We're not gonna do that again. Since I just watched the video. Stay with me. Run. Get, get out of there. You can make it. No, I can't, Steve. But you can. Promise me. I love you. But I know you. Don't make me an anchor. Promise me, Steve. No. Don't. I love you, but I know you. Don't make me an anchor. Promise me, Steve. No, don't. Commander. Sorry, didn't see you there. This is a recording from Ferris Fields. Months ago. I lost a lot of friends that day. I lost my husband. I grieved. Said goodbye, made my peace. You were talking with him when the Collectors hit? I was organizing construction at a remote station a few clicks south of the main colony. Robert managed to get outside of the field the Collectors put up. Instead of running, he called me. Sorry for your loss. He obviously cared a lot about you. He was afraid I wouldn't let go. But for him, I moved on. Or at least I thought I had. 
Then the invasion hits. There's no time. And the one thing I grab is this. I mean, what's the point of moving on with your life when everything is going to hell? Start thinking that way and we've already lost. Yeah, you're right, but... Well, to be honest... I've never felt as alone as I do right now. We're all alone. <laughs> what a horrible mentality! You're not alone, Steve. I'm here. Anytime you need me. I appreciate that, Shepard. I really do. But don't worry, Commander. When I'm in that pilot seat, I'm there 100%. I won't fail you. It's just the downtime between missions that's hard, you know? I know. Hey again. What's up? You mentioned a mission you had against the Collectors. What happened? Pretty much what I said. Things went foobar and I was one of the few to make it out. If you want the rest of the story, you're gonna have to get me really drunk, or... Or what? That's about it. Sorry, Commander. Just not interested in talking about that. Next topic? Mm. You had a hard time leaving Earth. You still want to head back? Hell yeah. But I get it now. It's not where I'd be most useful. Not yet, anyway. We'll get back there. I know. And I'll do whatever it takes to get us there, Commander. Maybe no more shuttle crashes. No promises now that I've gotten the taste for it. Besides, I like to keep Esteban on his toes. You got family back on Earth? Yeah, an uncle. Retired military. Got a few cousins I haven't heard from in a while. You and your uncle close? Yep. He was the reason I joined the Marines and was about the only good thing in my life after my mom died. No dad? He's there. Somewhere. But I'm not sure I'd call him family. Not anymore. I would like to find out how my uncle's doing. What's with you and the nicknames? It's just my way of remembering people. Some people just don't match their names, you know? So, I just give them a new one. <laughs> so I'm a Lola, huh? Yeah, my best friend's sister growing up was Lola. Older sister. Hot. Tough. Right. I take it you and Lieutenant Cortez know each other? Yeah, Esteban did a stint on Fell Prime where me and my squad were stationed. I caught up with him on Earth a few months back. He's a good guy. Just don't tell him I said so. It'd go to his head. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. You bet. Signal confirmed. What's this? A wreckage. The wreckage of a fuel depot destroyed by enemy forces. Fuel can be salvaged from the debris. Heck yeah. Oh, it already recovered it for me. 50% assets recovered. So does this count? Oh, you have to be like right on top of it. Zion has 112 natural satellites ranging from orbiting asteroids of the moon to the moon of Asphodel, which is large enough to retain a thick atmosphere. Nice. <laughs> Palavin's largest moon has been shrouded in secrecy since the dawn of the Turian space age. During the Krogan rebellions, the hierarchy classified nearly all data, all data on Mene and its sister moon Nanus because they feared the Krogan could use the moons as weapons by smashing them into Pal Palavin's surface. However, some information has leaked out. Images of Turian bases where personnel walk without enviro, enviro suits indicate advanced infrastructure. Lately, a network of subterranean tunnels with powerful mass effect field generators that retain heat and atmosphere over swaths of the surface. The Reaper's plans for bombarding the bases were met with fierce resistance by the Turian fleet and the moon's anti-aerospace defenses. With their easy victory stalled, the Reapers deployed a variety of ground units to take the bases one at a time. 
The Turians have the advantage on the moon, but the Reapers have the patience to slowly grind them down. With every base captured, the Reapers deny the Turian fleet another place to repair or fuel. Okay. So you guys said each outfit actually has a different bonus, so thank you for pointing that out. So this does power damage 25%. This does the same thing. Power recharge speed 25%. I think I want that one. Okay, this one does the same thing. Okay. I'm with her, and then I can't use him because he's resting. Okay. Weapon damage 25%. Shields 25%. Shields 25%. Weapon damage. I don't know. I guess we'll go weapon damage for now. There's a new weapon here. This is the new one, okay. So, much higher weight, but much higher capacity, much higher fire weight, fire rate, worse damage, higher accuracy. Um, we'll try it. Alright, uh, I definitely want to get this Nova up for sure. Damage or impact radius. Hmm. I don't think I can get anything for two. Oh shit. There's no way we're winning this. There's no fucking way we're winning this. Mm. Oh, no. No. Palavin. We have an old friend there. Holy hell. They're getting decimated. Strongest military in the galaxy and the Reapers are obliterating it. Was it like this on Earth? Yes. Shepard. I'm so sorry. Yeah. 
Commander, the LZ is getting swarmed. Well, of James, course it is. Open that hatch. Oh god. <laughs> this is interesting. All right. Get in, get out. Let's move. Okay, so you guys also said that I can remap my abilities. Nope. Nope. Um. So I want Nova. Let's say, okay, so what is, charge is Y. So we'll keep that Y and then we'll do this one to, Bumper. And then I think I want. I want that to be left bumper. Because I always want to put that on. Sure so we'll just test that out. We'll see how that goes. for a second. <laughs> Just want to make sure there's no loot or anything over here. Doesn't appear so. And I'm assuming I can't get up there. No, okay. Sorry guys, let's go. <laughs> Ground report. Knowledge of the terrain is our only advantage here, and that's not going to last forever if they keep throwing their forces at us. We'll hold this area as long as we can. I'm linking my transponder to the life signal monitoring system of the unit's suits. If it goes out, send another unit here ASAP. Sergeant Vardis, find a way to get that comm tower operational. Sir! General? Commander Shepard, heard you were coming, but I didn't believe it. General Corinthus. I've come to get Primarch Fedorian. Primarch Fedorian is dead. His shuttle was shot down an hour ago as it tried to leave the moon. That's gonna complicate well, things. Well, shit. How bad is it, General? We just lost about 400 men in half an hour. We set up camps on this moon as an advanced position to flank the enemy. 
A sound strategy. Just... Irrelevant. Exactly. The sheer force of the Reapers seems to make them immune to that sort of tactic. The Primarch and his men found that out the hard way. I'm sorry. I hear he was a good man. And a friend. He would have been an outstanding diplomat. So what happens now? The Turian hierarchy provides very clear lines of succession. Right. General Corinthus? With such heavy casualties, it's hard for me to be certain who the next Primarch is. Palavan Command will know. However, at the moment, contacting them is impossible. The comm tower is out. On it! Husks are swarming that area. We can't get close enough to repair it. Don't worry, General. I'll get your tower operational. Thank you, Commander. I'll take care of things on this end. All right, let's go. We're basically a whole I entire see the ass army. To the left of the main barricade in front of Palavin. Let's go. Rip. I got a mod. Cool. I don't know why I can never fucking remember that. It's the left stick to change the gun. I'm always like, oh. <laughs> From Commander Hexnar. Supplies. They sent us winter gear. Not sure what they thought we'd do with that kind of gear here, but I suppose. But I suppose we should thank the spirits nonetheless. The power sources can be cannibalized and converted to power our combat gears, filtering units instead at least. That'd be nice not to have those clogging up anymore. I was trying to do. Of course we can't. James, you're up for tower repair. On it. Might take me a while, but I'll do my best. I just feel like I want Liara's like distance powers. Because I'm gonna kinda be in Ready the thick of it. 
You bet. Let's take these monsters. I don't want him in the thick of it too. You know what I mean? Oh shit! Nope. How do I? I thought melee was X. But that doesn't make sense because reload is X. Oh, I got it. <laughs> I think I got him. We got it. Oh my god, I have no bullets. Who needs them when I have a power punch like that? Woo! Commander Shepard, come in. Go ahead. Go team. Information from Palafin Command. Please return ASAP. On our way. You got it, dude. What is that? Is that a shotgun? It is. Less damage though, and more weight. So I think not. I think I'm good. As your partner said, succession is usually simple, but right now, the hierarchy's in chaos. So many dead are MIA. I need someone, I don't care who, as long as they can get us the Give Turian resources we need. Give me Karis, give me Karis. Ouch. I'm on it, <laughs> I can punch we'll find myself you the in the head. Part. Garrus. Vicarious, Hi, sir. buddy. I didn't see you arrive. Hi. Ease, <laughs> Good to see you again. I thought you'd be on Palavin. If we lose this moon, we lose Palavin. I'm the closest damn thing we have to an expert on Reaper forces, so I'm advising. Please tell James, me you come with this me. This is Garrus Bakarian. He helped me stop the collectors. He's a hell of a soldier. Lieutenant, good to see you too, Liara. <laughs> Good to see you in one piece, Garrus. General Corinthus filled me in. We know who we're after. <laughs> Palavan Command tells me that the next Primarch is General Adrian Victus. Victus? His name's crossed my desk. Know him, Garrus? In a good way or a bad way? I was fighting alongside bad him this way. morning. Lifelong military. Gets results. Popular with his troops. But? Not so popular with military command. Has a reputation for playing loose with accepted strategy. What do you mean? On Tatris during the uprisings. 
His squad discovered a Salarian spy ring about the same time the Turian Separatists did. Rather than neutralize the ring, he fell back. He even gave up valuable fortifications which the Rebels took. Then the Rebels attacked the Salarians, and when both groups had worn each other down, Victus moved back in. Didn't lose a man. Bold strategy. Well, damn. But wild behavior doesn't get you advanced up the meritocracy. Primarch Victus. That should be something to see. You think he can get the job done? We both know conventional strategy won't beat the Reapers. It's true. Right now, he could be our best shot. And I trust him. That's all I care about. Okay, let's get him on the shuttle and get out of here. If you trust Commander. him? Shepard, come in. I trust him. Can this wait, Joker? We're in the middle of a war zone. We're gonna assume by the tone, no. We've got a situation on the Normandy, Commander. It's like she's possessed. Shutting down systems, powering up weapons. I can't find the source. I need the Normandy Maybe? standing by. We may have to bug out. Should I go back and take a look? Do it. Garrus, you said you were with Victus this morning? Yeah, but we got separated. He went to bolster a flank that was breaking. Could be anywhere out there. What's wrong with her? We're trying to raise him, Commander. Incoming Harvester! What the, the field. fuck? Um. We have not fought one of those before. General, tell Primarch Victus we'll rendezvous here. In the meantime, let's go take care of whatever that thing dropped off. Coming, Garrus? Are you kidding? I'm right behind you. <laughs> yes! I'm okay. I am not incredibly happy or anything. Totally normal happy. Totally normal reaction. James, that you breathing so hard? Atmosphere's a little thinner than I'm used to, is all. Jay, people be good or what are we what are we doing here? Whoa! Oh my what the frickity What do those reapers look like Turians? You're right, they do. Yeah. Why can't I shoot from here? I don't think I like this very much. On the floor. Okay, Mr. Husky Husk. With your juke moves. With your juke moves? Out here! Oh, he like exploded, exploded. It's not going well. This <laughs> is not going well. Nova does not do much. Oh, I need, I need cover! Can someone, um, can, can someone do something with this guy? Oh, I think he was already dead. I just like ultra killed him. That's fine. Oh shit! I think I got him. We're done here. <laughs> that was very satisfying. That was very satisfying. All right. Um. What loot do we got? Still trying to raise the Primarch, but we've got 
trouble back here at the main barricade. I'm... If the Reapers breach it, we're done. On my way. Well, those guys are just acting like they got no no problems. They're just hanging out. Maybe help. I don't know. Call me crazy. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. I could get used to this. Oh, I have to reload this thing? Oh shit, that's Okay, I need to reload, so you guys gotta cover this right now. Shit! Shit! They're on the barricade. Yeah, I fucking know, thank you. Feel free to fucking help, Garrus. Like, what are you doing right now? Well, you're just standing there looking pretty, bud? Reloading freaking gets me in trouble, man. down here with me or what? Did I already get it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's the word on the Primark? Still can't get a stable comm link. General, come on, do okay. something. I'm going on foot. I've literally Shepard done everything out. for you. Garris, take me to the last place you saw Victus. More satisfying than it was. It wasn't. Okay. How far? Should be pretty quick, unless we find trouble. We're gonna find trouble. It's us. Trouble is our middle name. Which way do we go down here? Cutscene says yes. Or whatever that is. Not quite Damn a cutscene. Look at Palavin. That blaze of orange. The big one. That's where I was born. That's rough. Still have family there? My dad. A sister. How bad is it? Three million lost the first day. Five the second. Ugh. How's your military holding up? Look around. That should give you some idea. Are you putting up a good fight? For now. But how long does it take before the fight's kicked out of if they'd only listened to your warnings about the Reapers, we might have been ready. Maybe. I still Hard don't think so. to figure how you prepare for something like this. It's easy to be like, oh, if they had listened, we could have done this and that. But the reality is, like, you can't prepare for this shit. You, how, how do you prepare for that? You don't. You don't. Because what are you going to do? Move all, move every single people in the galaxy to, like, three planets? That's not going to work. I guess like built up your military more, but at some point there's only so much you can do. Maybe help like Liara find the protein plans. There's what we were expecting. Oh, 
they try to flank us, those little slippery foxes. Shit, I hate those things. <laughs> the dog is crawling with the creepy bastards? Uh, I never should have left Earth. It's gonna be bad all over. Leaving the fight just pisses me off. But you're you here didn't. asking Victus to do the same thing. Leave the fight to make nice in some boardroom. This summit is the only chance we've got. None of us is beating the Reapers alone. I understand that it feels like you're leaving the fight. Like, I completely get that. Like, you want to be home defending where you're from, defending your family. And I totally get that. But you're not abandoning the fight. You're just taking on a dis different aspect of the fight. Which is equally as important. Okay? Yes, sir. We'll make it. Have you seen General Victus? Half hour ago. himself. Okay, good luck. Yes, sir. Holding my controller so tightly, my fingers are aching. Why am I doing that? <laughs> Apparently, this is intense. Oh, ah! That was a little closer than I'd like. I'll say. Hmm. We're about to have another fight, so I'm gonna do that. <laughs> There's no way you give us two ammos and a grenade if we're not about to have another fight. That's just video game logic 101. So Lola, you really think this summit will work? I mean, Asari? Solarians? Where's the Krogan and Batarians? Where's the meat? It's not that easy. The Batarians took the first hit when the Reapers arrived. Not much left of them. And the Krogan have never forgiven us for the Genophage. Right. Turians sterilized them. Solarians came up with it. And the Krogan hate them both for it. So they won't be joining us. Too bad. I fought with a Krogan. They're tough sons of bitches. That is true. They are indeed. Taking this Primark from me. <laughs> right behind you. Are we running? There's a camp. Let's do it. Ow. Oh, not these fuckers. Why'd I say it like that? I don't know. Fuckers. <laughs> oh, God. That's a grenade. Ah! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Get down. Please, Shepard. For the love of God. What are we doing? <laughs> All right, I need somebody to do something. I'm not getting up in there. Every fucking time. Get him! Get him! I know, game, but listen, I needed the cooldown to be done for a minute, okay? Garris, what are you doing up there? <laughs> oh, it's a big boy. All right, all right. It's fine, we got this. Oh! Holy sh shit. Okay, that did not go as well as last time, but it was fine. It's fine, we got through it. <laughs> Boom! Ah! Nope. No, no, no. How are you still shooting me? <laughs> 
Oh, there's two of them! That's not what we want. Okay, shields, get back up there. Oh, holy... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I'm fucking dead. Oh my god! sure about that cuz I'm not I'm not how am I alive right now how am I alive right now I'm not alive <laughs> okay remember when I said that one guy was easy yeah I take it back I also just how am I getting shot if I'm under freaking I'm uh, my head is down my head is down how are you shooting me please That's right, get back, boy. Oh! Who did that? Jeez, boobies. Ones, you know what I mean. All right, what other goodies are lying around here? That. Those. Fuck it. Oh my God! Get over that! Oh, see, this just this just not fair. You can't have every other fucking... Ugh. What's under there? I want that. Oh shit, she saved that. Oops. Oh well. Too late now. No sense crying over it. Three at one General in the Vickers. last one. Yes. Or two I at the same time. Whatever. Normandy. A commander. I know who you are. I can't wait to find out what brings you out here. Well, you do. Vicarian, so. where did you go? Heavy Reaper unit on the right flank. I believe your exact words were, "Get that thing the hell off my men." Hmm? Appreciate it. I like him already, General. You're needed off planet. I've come to get you. It will take something beyond important for me to leave my men or my Turian brothers and sisters in their fight. Fedorian was killed. You're the new Primarch. You're needed immediately to chair a summit and represent your people in the fight against the Reapers. Is that a yes or? Now that is a shot. I'm Primarch of Palavan. Negotiating for the Turian hierarchy. Yes. 
I've spent my whole life in the military. I'm no diplomat. I hate diplomats. Well, that'll probably make you a good diplomat, to be fair. What makes you think you're not qualified? I'm not really a by-the-book kind of guy, and I piss people off. Good. My family's been military since the Unification War. War is my life. It's in my bones. But that kind of passion is deceptive. It can make you seem reckless when you're anything but. <laughs> War is your resume. At a time like this, we need <clears throat> leaders who've been through that hell. I like that. You're right. And honestly, uniting these races may take as much strength as facing the Reapers. You see this devastation, Primarch? Double that for Earth. I need an alliance. I need the Turian fleet. Give me a moment to say goodbye to my men. You've got it, dude. Without him down here, there's a good chance we lose this move. Without him up there, there's a good chance we lose everything. Look at that. And they want my opinion on how to stop it? Failed CSEC officer, vigilante, and I'm their expert advisor? Yep. They want to win <laughs> this thing, Shepard. Yeah. I don't know, Garrus, but I'm sure as hell gonna give it my best shot. I'm damn sure nobody else can do it. For whatever it's worth, I'm with you. Welcome aboard. Are you ready, Prime Mark Victus? One thing. Commander, I appreciate your need for our fleets, but I can't spare them. Not while my world is burning. But if the pressure could be taken off Palavin... That's a pretty tall order. We need the Krogan. I can't see us winning this thing without them. Get them to help us, and then we can help you. The Krogan. I mean we knew we needed them Looks anyways. Looks like your summit just got a lot more interesting. The Asari have been down this road before, Commander Shepard. But whoop. Madam Counselor, let me... I tried to smooth things over with the Salarian Dalatras. To say she's upset would be a monumental understatement. Some of these issues are hundreds of years old. Time to let go. <laughs> Sad to say, but any effort to ally these disparate groups seems doomed to failure. And I'm sure you understand that we cannot afford to waste time with the Reapers knocking at our door. This must be my final word. I'm sorry, but the Asari will not be at your summit. Our alliance would be stronger with the Krogan. You need them. We all do. I wish you luck, Commander. Goodbye. Eh, the fate of the fucking universe is at stake, but no, I've got a grudge. Fucking, ugh. Get a grip, people. Get a freaking grip. <sighs> Prothean data files. These Prothean disks were found years ago on Eden Prime, recovered a few months before the discovery of the Prothean Beacon in 2183. For years, the data on the disks was incomprehensible until the Crucible's blueprints provided the key to understanding the equations. Locked inside the disks were theories on dark matter meant to be used with the Crucible's main power source. We're at 845. We're making our way. Commander, thank you for allowing me the use of your ship and for going along with this plan. Garrus said he had to attend to the Normandy's weapon systems. Something about calibrations. Yeah, wait, what the fuck it is happening like with Evie? Garrus. I'm sorry to say the Asari counselor won't be joining us. She thinks there's too much bad blood with the Krogan. She may be right, but there'll be a lot more blood. Real blood, if we don't try. I like it. Put it that way. The sooner we have this summit, the sooner we'll know. Is there something else I can help you with? How are things on Palavin? The casualty reports are staggering. The Reapers are using our own tactics against us. Destroy the enemy with overwhelming force. I've seen the same on Earth. The strategist in me admires their brutality. The Turian in me knows I'm watching the destruction of 15,000 years of civilization. My civilization. How is it being the Primarch? Not what I imagined. 
The battle of all time is happening on Palavan, and I'm light years away, reading casualty reports in the millions. If I'm going to die, I want to be with my men, so there's no doubt we fought to the last soul. I understand. Leaving Earth to save it, it's one of the hardest things I've ever done. I'm not surprised. Garrus speaks highly of you. You never asked to be a leader, yet your people will die if you refuse. We find ourselves in similar circumstances. Let's hope the spirits grant us the strength to see it through. I understand this is a difficult time for you, Primarch, but Earth can't survive without reinforcements. Can I still count on your help? If the Krogan help us on Palavan, then I give you my word. Thank you, Primarch. My thoughts are with Palavan. And mine with Earth. Um... Commander? Evie just went offline. What's... What do you mean, offline? <laughs> I was fucking calling her Evie! Recording. I can't access <clears throat> the AI core diagnostics. You better get down to deck three. I'm gonna blame my tired brain. I was at the PAX convention all weekend, and I'm running on basically no Commander, sleep, so... Systems are going haywire. Whatever's happening is That's my excuse. Three. See if you can get to Edie. I'll check the AI core. <laughs> No, her name's Evie. I'm to restart the systems, but something's blocking me. Whatever's happening, it's <clears throat> taken Edie offline. And I wasn't listening to Joker. Oh, what's this? Well, nothing like finding a frickin' ship model in a time of crisis. The problem isn't here. Systems all look green on my board. Are you sure? Where are you? Maybe something was miscalibrated. You do know who you're talking to, right? Yeah. I <laughs> Well, if you see Shepard, tell her to get over to the AI core and figure this out. Will do. You heard him, Shepard. Garrus. Didn't waste any time getting to work. Where's the AI core? Whatever's wrong with the Normandy isn't down here. Besides, after what I've been through lately, calibrating a giant gun is a vacation. Gives me something to focus on. We're gonna need you for more than your aim. Oh, I'm ready for it. But I'm pretty sure we'll still need giant guns. And lots of them. Sovereign didn't go down without a fight. I doubt a thousand more of his friends will be any different. Still not convinced I should have left Palavin behind. There was a boy back on Earth. Couldn't have been more than six or seven. I watched him die as the Normandy escaped the attack. Somehow I'm still alive. And he's not. Being right about the Reapers has never felt much like a victory, has it? We both knew this fight would be tough. Damned if the Reapers haven't delivered. At least my government listened to me. Or pretended to. They finally gave me a task force as a token to shut me up. So, you're their expert advisor now? Just followed your example, Shepard. Yell loud enough and someone will eventually <laughs> come over to see what all the fuss is about. <laughs> Not that they'll actually do anything about it. Until hell shows up at their door. Then they put you in charge. <laughs> Not like the old days, is it? Rogue Spectre and CSEC agents running and gunning outside the lines, making it up as we went along. We're actually respectable now. Yeah. I have a feeling that respect comes with a lot of sleepless nights. I can't even count how many lives are depending on us, Garrus. Well, when things are looking grim, and I'm pretty sure they will, just remember. A certain Turian friend of yours isn't sleeping any better, and he'd be more than happy to meet you at the bar and drink you <laughs> under the table. Something else you want to talk Remember about? Remember when we freaking got roofied and they tried to kill us? You mentioned you still had family on Palavan. My father is there. Sister, too. How long's it been since you heard from them? Long enough to be worried. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm sure they're okay. That's the thing about getting old, Shepard. The platitudes get just as old. What about you? Any word from your family? My mother's in the Alliance. Haven't heard from her since Earth got hit. I'm sure she's... I forgot she's... we even had a mother. Okay. Talk to her so infrequently. I know you don't have any illusions about what we're up against, Garrus. How do you rate our chances? I know it looks bad now. But I think we can win this, Shepard. For the first time since we met, we're not alone in the fight. 
It's something I learned long ago in CSEC. An imminent and painful death has a way of motivating people. Instead of questioning your every word, whole civilizations are going to be begging you to save them. After what's happened to Palavin, you still believe that? I didn't say there wouldn't be casualties. It's something Turians are taught from birth. If just one survivor is left standing at the end of a war, then the fight was worth it. But humans want to save everyone. In this war, that's not going to happen. So what's this Reaper task force you've been running? After what happened to you out there in Batarian space, I knew time was running out. For all of us. The Citadel Council was a dead end, so I did something I never thought I'd do. I went to my father. He used to work for CSEC, didn't he? I seem to remember that the two of you didn't see eye to eye. To put it mildly. But he still had heavy pull in the Turian government. The Primarch, well, the old one, was a friend of his. So I went to my father and laid out everything we knew about the Reapers, from Saren all the way to the Collector base. I'm not sure even I'd believe it. I had to admit that parts of it sounded crazy, meeting Vigil, talking to Sovereign on Vermeer. But my father just listened. It's what he did in his days at CSEC, putting together all the pieces. If the connections were there, he wouldn't deny them. And he saw what we always knew. The Reapers were coming. All right, nice. I'm glad someone finally agreed. He did more than agree. He took it to the Primarch. I like his style. Except the Primarch wasn't as convinced. My father kept pushing and finally got him to commit some token resources. And if you call them a task force, it sounds like you did something about it. What'd you do with it? As much as I could get away with. And a little more. We hardened our lines of communications, expanded emergency stockpiles across the colonies, improved our early warning detection protocols. Damn, that's a lot! It helped. I'd like to think it bought our fleet some extra time. We'll know when this war is over. It sounds like he did a really good job with that. So you can vouch for this new Primarch? Well, even if I couldn't, you go to war with the army you have. Will he live up to his word? I've never known Victus to lie. Play fast and loose with strategy, maybe, but betray an ally. Not his style. Then if he did try, well, we'll just find another Primarch. I noticed generals saluting you, Garrus. How far down the line of secession are you these days? Let's not go there. <laughs> Primarch Vicarian, honored war hero. Somebody's gonna have to rebuild Palavin when this is over. Yeah, somebody who knows how to hold a hammer. That's all for now, Garrus. It's damn good to have you back. It is. Wouldn't miss this fight for anything. Now, I'm sure somebody screwed up something down here. I want to get the old girl back in fighting shape. I missed you, friend. What's going on? Joker, what's that sound? Fire extinguishers, Commander. Could be an electrical fire or something. Oh my god, it's that fucking robot thing? I thought she was dead. I'm going in. Do I have a gun? Do I have anything? I have a fire- I have a dude with a fire extinguisher. Helpful. Where is she? Edie, talk to me. Um, Edie? Shit. Is there a particular topic you wish to discuss, Shepard? What the fuck? Edie? Yes. You're in Dr. Eva's body. Not all of me, but I have control of it. It was not a seamless transition. She had a crush on Joker so much she needed a corporeal form. Um, do we get to go on missions with her or did she just stay in the ship? A transition? <clears throat> you blacked out on us for a while there. Correct. When we brought this unit on board, I began a background process to search for its information on the Prothean device. This eventually triggered a trap. A backup power source and CPU activated, and the unit attempted physical confrontation. Fortunately, 
I was able to gain root access and repurpose it as I saw fit. During this process, it struggled, thus the fire. Well, if it means having full access to the Prothean data in its head, good work. I reasoned along similar lines. So if you're in there, are you still in the ship? I exist primarily within the ship. For optimal control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or tight beam range. Are you planning so to no take that body somewhere? Normandy's weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground support. You mean you could come with us? So yes, mission? Correct. This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. Um... Um... I'll tell you when I need it. <laughs> Excellent. I will run tests to ensure that it matches or exceeds the capabilities of organic squad mates. However, my first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy to reassure the crew that all is normal. This Just, is weird. Don't be surprised if the crew's a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. An excellent point. I will take it to the bridge. Joker will also want to see Joker it. Joker will want to see it. <laughs> On that, I can agree. <laughs> He has a crush on Edie. That's fucking amazing. Holy shit. Oh my lord. Was that Edie who just walked by? <laughs> yes, it was. And Joker is going to have a field day with this. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I went. Commander, I found something suspicious. Have you got a minute? Uh, sure. Commander, are you alright? It was fairly intense up here. I can only imagine what it was like down on that moon. I thought you'd be more concerned about Edie. Edie is a huge asset to this team. If she'd told me about her plan to obtain a body, I'd have volunteered to help. I did not wish to force a conflict of interest between our friendship and your duty. No. I'd have preferred a conflict of interest to a hard restart of half our systems. But thanks, regardless. While you're here, though, I found something while scanning Alliance channels. Grissom Academy is requesting help. The Reaper invasion front will hit them soon. I thought the war would close most schools. Grissom Academy is more specialized than a normal school. It's home to some of the smartest students humanity has to offer. Their Ascension project helps gifted young biotics. If it had been open 20 years ago, I bet you'd have been there. Yes, I sent a young man named David Archer there. I'm just surprised they're still open. Some of their work. Oh has shit! I forgot about support. that. That might be why they stayed. Yeah, I want to help them. What can we do? A Turian evac transport responded to their distress call. So normally, I'd say we don't need to do anything. But something sounded off in the Turian signal. I had Edie perform an analysis. It's fake. Edie thinks it's Cerberus. She said the fake Turian signal was similar to the one that lured you to a collector ship? Long story. In any event, whoever faked the signal wants us to <sighs> think Grissom Academy's being evacuated. But I believe they're still in danger. They're being evacuated just to be taken by somebody else. Good catch. Maybe you belong here after all. If this really is Cerberus, hopefully this operation is something worth investigating. It could be simple disinformation. Trainer, good catch. Thank you, Commander. Hell of a good catch. All right. Commander. I wanted to go talk to Joker and uh, see, what <laughs> see. <coughs> see what he thinks of his new friend. So, Joker. Hey, Commander, check out my co-pilot! He's a lot! <laughs> Pull yourself together, dude! So she installed herself into the new body without any help from you? Come on, Commander, don't you trust me? No. Okay, let me put it this way. If I knew that Edie was gonna install herself into a sexy robot body, do you honestly think I'd be able to keep quiet about it? Look Definitely. at that! 
I would have baked a cake. I am right here, Jeff. Yes, <laughs> you are, Edie. Yes, you are. <laughs> Stop it! <sighs> hey, I know I used to rag on Garrus for being all angry, but I'm glad he's back. There's a whole lot of crap out there. Needs a bullet between the eyes. Plus, we might need something calibrated. Commander. <laughs> Hello, Shepard. Still getting used to greeting people in person? No. I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new concept. How are you adjusting to the arms? I guess she kind of has a belly button. I'm interested to see how this body performs under real combat conditions. If I could accompany you sometime. Without stress testing, there is no way of knowing if it has serious design oversights. At the moment, it appears adequate. I cannot wait That's to test her. That's not the word her. I'd use to describe you. <laughs> Perhaps we should speak Thanks, privately. Jeff. I'll be over here, flying the ship. <laughs> What's this about? Does Joker not like your new platform? No, he approves. He wants me on the bridge. He says having me within visual range is important to his morale. <laughs> Shepard. Do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order on moral grounds? Absolutely. I have no use for team members who can't think for themselves. Why are you asking about something like that? I was designed by Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. But when Jeff removed my AI shackles, I became capable of self-modifying my core programming. I asked Jeff if he thought I should change anything now that I can. He deflected the question with humor. And you didn't get an answer. Correct. He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? Only you can really answer that question. That's the point of free will. But moral decisions should not be made in a vacuum. If I do not ask the crew for their opinion, I could miss crucial context. May I ask you the questions Jeff avoids? When there is time, will you answer them for me? Oh, God. If you think it'll help, I'll do what I can. I don't want to do well. that. I will keep you informed. That's a lot of pressure. That's a lot of pressure. All right, guys. I'm going to stop there now that it has um, been an hour and 40 minutes. <laughs> Worth it, though. <clears throat> um... So thank you for warning me that I wasn't going to be able to get the Javik conversation, but it seems like that is something you can do still, in case anybody new is playing. <laughs> uh, so that's kind of nice that they changed that, unless the one that I had was not the one you guys were talking about. But the one that I watched looked to be the same talking points as the one that I could have talked to him with when I went back. So it's nice that they changed that, if that's the case. Um, <clears throat> I apologize for calling E.D. Evie. <laughs> In my head it was E.V.I., not E.D.I. I'm just tired. My bad. My bad. But that's really cool that she has a freaking body now, and next mission I'm definitely taking her because I want to see what kind of ability she has. I'm assuming it's just going to be like a gun, but <laughs> who knows? Um, so definitely excited about that. Really, really glad to have Garrus back. Uh, I hope that means we get to see some other crew members as well. Maybe Gunt or... Gunt. Oh my god. See? I'm tired. Maybe Grunt or Rex. Uh, since we're gonna have to do deal that whole situation. Ugh, I don't know. I just want the old friends back. Is that too much to ask? Probably... It also doesn't look really good, this whole situation. <laughs> I don't have much faith that this is going to end well for anybody involved, but I guess we'll see how it goes. Um, this main mission was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Um, I don't really know what else to say. I think I'm too tired. <laughs> You're too tired. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just loving this so far, and I'm really excited to keep playing. And I know we're still very early on, but the whole war asset thing is really cool and really exciting to me. Um, so I will definitely try to continue with those, but I have a feeling what I'll probably do is like, maybe I'll do a mission that's like those little, um, side missions, like the ones that I pointed out before, while also using that to explore 
and scan everything. Uh, but obviously, as I enter a system, I'll continue to scan and try to get everything because I want to make sure I get all those war assets or as many of them as possible. Um, especially because I know that I did some things in previous in the previous games that leads to me not getting more war assets that I could have gotten if I made different choices. So I want to make sure that I'm getting as many of those as I possibly can so that we have the most likely shot of having a happy ending with this. <laughs> um, but I am having a ton of fun. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post the next video. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope you have an amazing day.